Mr. President, do you know of any country in the Middle East that has nuclear weapons? Uh, with respect to nuclear weapons, uh, you know, I don't want to speculate. What I know is this, that if we see a nuclear arms race in a region as volatile as the Middle East, everybody will be in danger. Uh, Helen Thomas asked Obama at his first news conference if he knew of any country in the Middle East which possessed nuclear weapons. He said he didn't want to speculate. Uh, Senator, do you know of any country in the Middle East that has nuclear weapons? I'm not free to comment on that. Why, why, why can you not say that Israel is a nuclear power, Senator? I'm sorry? Why can you not say that Israel is a nuclear power, Senator? Uh, I basically think it is, but I'm not somebody that's privy to all the details on that. Are you willing to clarify the suspicion? Does does Israel have or not have nuclear weapons? Why should we clarify it? If the suspicion prevents them from attacking us, okay, it's enough. If you can, by suspicion, defend your land, it's much better. But it's a simple question. Do you or don't you have nuclear weapons? I said Israel has said clearly that we are not going to introduce nuclear weapons in the Middle East. Are you we saying you do not have nuclear weapons? I answered it. We are not going to introduce it. I've never understood why Israel is so coy about nuclear weapons. I mean, I know you have them, you know you have them. Um, I think most countries that have nuclear weapons, probably they were built by Jewish scientists or the Chinese kid. But, <laughs> but it's, it's unrealistic to think that Israel doesn't have nuclear weapons or would not use them for its survival. So why, why be cagey about it? Well, I think that, uh, let's suppose for a second, I'm going to avoid answering this question, okay? Here, I'm being openly uh, evasive. <laughs> <laughs>